Who has not heard of Maria.cloud? Good, okay. So it is an in-browser closure editor and notebook environment. We originally built it for a closure bridge a few years ago. It has rich text comments, so it lets you intersperse code and prose, and it comes with a beginner's curriculum largely written by Dave, and a shapes library written by Jack Rusher. Um, I'll, maybe I will show it to you now, quick. This is the home page, and when you click on Learn Closure with Shapes, it takes you to a little curriculum here, which introduces you to Closure, form by form. And, here, and, and so what you're seeing here is actually just an ordinary Closure namespace with comments. The comments are rendered in this nice prose format supporting Markdown, and the code cells are all lifted into these cell format. Last winter, I got some Closurists Together funding to work on version two. So the first version was built right after Clojure, Clojure Script self-hosted compiler came out, and it was one of the first projects to make heavy use of that. And there was just a lot of stuff that didn't exist yet. So for Peredit, I, had, I, I did a custom implementation of Peredit. Version two, we used next journal closure mode. For the parser, I had a custom parser, and now we use uh, Lezer from CodeMirror 6. For the document model, I had a custom thing, and now we use ProseMirror to control the whole document from the top down. Rich text, I used ProseMirror for those blocks before. Keyboard shortcuts is a big source of pain in the current Maria version, and the, in the new version, we sort of delegate that to ProseMirror and CodeMirror, so it should work better on international keyboards and, and so on. And leading to Babashka, uh, we use Psy for the eval in the new version, which is much, it was much simpler to implement and lighter weight, well, actually, I'll get the next slide, we go into that. One more point, the curriculum compatibility in the new version will also work in JVM Clojure, and we're working on support for Clerk, so you can just export anything you build in Maria to a file that you can open in whatever editor you want and view it with Clerk. Yeah, persistence, it goes to local storage or gists, that's the same in V2. In the future, we, I would like to add some refactoring support. None of the existing solutions work as far as I know in JavaScript, so we might need to do something custom there. And it could be interesting to look at yeah, reading, reading files from a database or reading entire projects from a database or a file system. So why did we go with Psy for this version? Uh, bundle size and loading time, simplicity, isolation, yeah, the, the self-hosted closure compiler can take a long time to load, and loading large namespaces and compiling them is very heavyweight, and it's also just more complex with these intermediate compile stages. It's much simpler to just take a string of code and evaluate it with Psy. And Psy is really nice to work with in terms of being able to modify the environment and what you expose to user land code. So it's more isolated, it's easier to build it in a secure way. And we can also do experimental things with language modes. So if you want to expose a subset of closure or like change the language for beginners, that would be much easier to do inside. Yeah. And a quick, so the, it, the new version, if all goes well, will look mostly like the old version and just be faster and more stable uh, and easier for anybody to contribute to and maybe use use what we built here in Maria for other projects. So if you wanted a nice looking closure editor for your own use case, you should be able to pull out the new version of Clojure much easier. And I'll just show one thing that Dave recently worked on, which is a download for Clerk button, which will let you, as I mentioned, just download whatever you're working on in the format that you can load up in Emacs or IntelliJ or VS Code or whatever whatever you're using and run with Clerk. So that's that's it.